Okay, so welcome back. Today we are going to look at events associated with your C-Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms applications. And in this video, we're going to focus on mouse-related events, but these concepts apply to just about any events in your Windows Forms application. And here you can see we've got an application that's running. And it's very simple. It's just got a chart on it, and I've charted some data. And I want to be able to use my mouse to zoom into a certain area of this chart. So I can hover my mouse over this peak on this data, and I can move my scroll wheel forward one step. You can see it automatically zooms in and gives me a control here that I can scroll left and right to show the entire waveform. And then I can hover again and scroll forward again and again and again to keep zooming in. And if I scroll my mouse wheel back, it automatically resets. So this is a nice way to use mouse scroll wheel events associated with this chart to be able to zoom in or out. Now another thing we can do is we can set up our mouse events so that, for example, I can just left click here, move my cursor over and release the button and it will automatically zoom into that area that I selected. And then I can hit the escape key and it will go back to reset to the normal scale. And then I can go over here and I can left click, drag, release, and it shows that particular area zoomed in. So there's a lot of functionality you can do with events and we're going to talk about that. Now there's some certain concepts that you need to get in your head before you do this. Recently, we did a video talking about focus and active controls, and that's really, really important because a lot of the events we're going to talk about, especially associated with the mouse, depend upon the control that you're working with having focus or being the active control. So, for example, I need to make sure this chart is active, it has focus, before I start to interact with it. So that's going to be really important. I encourage you to look at that other video. There are other concepts you're going to need to understand before you get into these events. So let's take a look at those now. So we're going to be looking at basically four events associated with our mouse. One related to the mouse wheel scrolling forward and back. One related to mouse down, I, I click down my left mouse button. And also there's a release event when I release the button. And then there's a mouse move event. So we're going to be looking at all of those events. And again, these concepts apply to other events. Now the mouse wheel event, where I scroll forward and backward, that occurs when the mouse wheel moves while the control has focus. That's really, really important. In our case, if we want to scroll in on a chart, we have to first make sure that that control has focus. And again, we talked about that in a previous video. Also, the mouse wheel event is not listed in Visual Studio Control event properties. So what does that mean? So here's a simple application I'm going to work on, and I'm going to select this chart control that I've dragged. And if I go over here into the properties and I select this lightning bolt, it has all of the events associated with that chart control. And you can see there's a click event, but I can scroll down and look for mouse events. And there is a mouse capture change, a mouse click, mouse double click, mouse down, enter, hover, leave, move, up. But there is no mouse wheel event. Normally with these other events like a mouse down or a mouse up or a mouse move, you can just select this and double click on this and it will automatically connect and give you an event handler for that event. With a mouse wheel event, that's not the case. You're going to have to do it by hand, unfortunately. So not listed in Visual Studio Control event properties. However, the mouse down and mouse up events that we just saw occur when the mouse pointer is over the control and a mouse button is pressed or released for the down and up mouse events. However, as we saw, these are listed in the Visual Studio Control event properties. Now the mouse move events occur when the mouse is moved. And these are also listed in the control event properties. 
So you have to be aware of what's available in the properties and also exactly what these do. For example, the mouse wheel event, you need to have the control in focus. So we'll start out with a very simple C Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms application and go into the designer. All I've got is I drag and dropped a chart and I've also drag and dropped a text box. And if you look at the code, really pretty straightforward. We're just starting out where we are going to plot some data on this chart and then we'll get into the event part of it. So uh, system collections dot generic forms data visualization charting and here I've got some lists of doubles basically for the X values and Y values of the chart list of doubles. Um, I'm setting up the X increment the time increment in seconds is 0.01 seconds for each sample point and the chart maximum time is 10 seconds. And here I'm calculating the total number of samples, which is the chart maximum time in seconds, which is 10 divided by the increment. So that just means I'm going to have like a thousand samples and I'm going to go calculate all those samples. So I've got initialized component. I've just got a configure chart and then calculate and plot values. So configure chart, very straightforward. Um, clear the legends. I've set it to chart type dot line uh, with a line width of two and a color of red. And then I am setting the axis X maximum to 10 seconds for the chart and a minimum of zero. And that's it. We've configured the chart. Now we just have to calculate and plot values. I'm starting out with X value equals zero and a double Y value. And for each of those thousand samples, I am calculating a Y value. I've just got an equation in here. Uh, math sine plus math sine 10 times and I take an exponential. And then I say X values, I add the X value associated with that Y value, it starts out with zero. And then I add the Y value I just calculated. And then I increment the X value for the next time through. So this is going to populate the X and Y values. And here I just do a chart one series points data bind X, Y, and I bind the lists of doubles for X values and Y values or the time values and the value values. So that's it. At this point, we have run both those things and we have our chart. So now let's look at how we can start to implement some mouse events with that chart. So I'm going to go to the chart and I'm going to select the chart and go over here and you can see here's in the properties on the bottom right. And we've got a bunch of mouse events that we're going to use. We're going to have a mouse down, a mouse up and a mouse move. That's so we can click at a point in the chart and drag and then release and that will specify the area that we want to zoom into. So we'll go to the mouse down, select it and double click and you can see it gives us a mouse down event handler in our code. And then we'll go back to that. We will do it for the mouse up, double click and then we'll go back and do it for the mouse move double click. So now we've wired up the event handlers for the mouse down, mouse up and mouse move and we just need to populate that. Now we're also going to be after this we're going to be doing the scroll wheel events and as we said those aren't listed so we're going to have to do those manually. So now let's think about what we're going to have to do with these events in order to get the zooming that we want. Well our goal here is to hover over the chart that is hopefully in focus and we're going to left click at some point and then we're going to drag the mouse and we're going to release the button and somehow we're going to have to use those points, the start and end points, to define what is the ultimate range in the x-axis of this chart. It's going to zoom in to those two points. So we're going to have to, when we left click to start the selection, we're going to have to store somehow what's the X or time position at that point. And then when we move over, we drag over and release, we're going to have to store the X position at that end point. So we have to get two values, a start X position and an end X position and somehow feed that into our chart so that it will zoom into that area. Now also we're going to have to think about, well, when we've done that and we're zoomed in, how are we going to get out of that? Well, one way we can do it is like hit the escape key 
and wire up the escape key so it will automatically reset to the normal 10 second x-axis value. So that gives us a little bit of idea how we're going to have to wire this up. So let's go take a look at the code and see how we can do that. So here's our three event handlers. Um, we, we know we're going to need the mouse down and, and store the x value and then a mouse up to store the ending x value. We may or may not need the mouse move for this. So now the first thing I've done is up top here to make it available to everybody. I've added two doubles. One is the position x start and the other one is the position x finish. I've also added some code to the mouse down event. And the first thing we need to do is this is going to be associated with the chart one. Now keep in mind that all of the controls have their own associated events. So we're going to have to make sure that it's the chart one that we're dealing with. And it's got, as any event, it's got a sender and event arguments. So we're going to say this sender is a chart and we're going to give it a name chart. And then we're going to simplify how we access that. We're going to say chart dot chart area zero dot axis x. And we're just going to assign that as an axis so we can simplify how we address it. So axis, we're going to call it x axis. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the x axis label style format is 0.0. .0. If we don't do that, then the resulting value on the x axis is going to be 320 digits. So I'm just doing that to make it a little easier to use. And then I am going to say x axis scroll bar enable equals false. Because as we showed before, it automatically gives us an x axis scroll bar. I don't like that. Um, if you want it, you don't need to put this in, but I just disabled that. And here is the really important part where we figure out what is the position, the starting position when we press the left mouse button click. And that is the x axis dot pixel position to value. And we're using the event args E and we're grabbing the property, the location dot x of that mouse click event, the mouse down click event. And that is converting that to a double, which is the equivalent x value at that position. So it's doing a really nice job. It's, you know, you're clicking on a position in the chart. It is returning the x-axis value at that position. So really, really nice method. So now that we've got the start, we go to the mouse up and we need to get do the same thing, but get the end position. So here is the code for the mouse up. Do the same thing. Say the sender is a chart, we call it chart. Uh, axis X is chart, chart area zero, axis X. And then label style format is zero. And the position X finish is the exact same thing. We again grab the E location dot X and then say axis X scale view dot zoom. And that is where we can feed it the starting position, the finishing position, and it will scale the chart X axis to those values. So great methods in here, built-in methods that make it so much easier. So let's see if this works. So we'll start this up and we're going to click release. And there you go. It automatically zooms. It gets rid of that uh, x-axis scroll bar and it gives our formatting of our numbers in a 0.0, .0 format. So really nice and clean. In terms of mouse up and mouse down, that's basically the procedure you need to implement in order to do it. We haven't used the mouse move yet, and we haven't also used the scroll event. So in the next video, we're going to look at those. We're going to show you how to do the same thing, but using the scroll wheel. So uh, if you're liking these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. But most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.